welcome. We're going to do a quick 30-ish minute Pilates mat series with our lovely body here, Katie. You're going to find a comfortable seat. You can be cross-legged, you can be kneeling, really whatever feels comfortable. And we're going to start with a little shoulder warm-up. All you're going to do is breathe in and shrug your shoulders up towards your ears. And then exhale. First, just let the shoulders drop. Feel how there's not really a lot of effort in that drop. This time, inhale, shrug up. Exhale, I want you to glide the shoulders down with control. Feel those lats help glide them down. One more round. Inhale, gliding up. And exhale, gliding back down. We'll do one more. Instead of rolling, I just want them to go straight up, straight down. No rolling. Inhale, shrugging up. Then glide down, yes. So it's really active depression of the scapula. Arms are going to reach forward. Yep, you want to keep the shoulders out of the ears. As you breathe in, reach the fingertips a little bit further forward. It's protraction or wrapping forward of the scapula. Then you're going to hug the shoulder blades back toward the spine. Yep. Inhale, wrap forward, think fingertips forward. Try not to let the head or spine change. So stay upright, unshrug. Now, this is really hard to do without touching you guys. Wrap forward without rounding the spine. So it's purely the shoulder blades coming forward. Then release, hug all the way back like you're squeezing the spine with the scapula. Yes, one more time, just those shoulder blades move. And then hug the shoulder blades back. And then release to neutral. Let your arms float down. Lie down on your back. Knees bent, feet flat, neutral pelvis. So neutral is where the hip bones and the pubic bone, knees bent, feet flat. There we go. All right. Neutral is where the hip bones and the pubic bone are on the same level plane, and there's plenty of space underneath the low back. So here, Katie, I'm going to have you take the heels of your hands place them on your hip bones. Then let your fingertips drape to the pubic bone. And now take a look, that triangle should be level. You don't want the fingertips higher than the, the heels of the hands or vice versa. So I actually want you to try to drop your tailbone down a little bit more. There it is, that's your neutral. You guys know neutral is where the spine and the pelvis are working in the most efficient place for spinal health, pelvic health, and hip health. So, we're going to hold this neutral, take your fingertips, find the front of the hip bones, and now walk the fingertips in about an inch, and then lightly push down. Most of you have done this with me before. Take a breath in, and with your exhale, I want you to laugh or cough. Ha! 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 You should feel a muscle tighten under those fingertips, right? Do it one more time. Laugh or cough. Good. Now. I want you to feel that same compression, that same tightening, but instead of coughing or laughing, I want you to blow out through pursed lips like you're blowing out through a straw. Good. Inhale, filling up the sides and backs of the ribs. Exhale, that active blow out, firing up the deep transverse abdominis. Beautiful. One more round. Exhale, tightening up the belly. Yes. Inhale. This time, as you exhale, you're going to tip the hip bones closer to the ribs. Let the low back sink down. Pause there. Your bum is still firmly on the mat. It's not lifting up. Good. Inhale, release back to neutral. Yes. This time, as you exhale, imprint. Find that tip of the pelvis. But reach down. Feel your glutes. They should not be working. So if there's any tightness there, let it go. Really let the obliques create that imprint. Yeah. Inhale, release back to neutral. One more time. Exhaling to imprint. And inhale to release. We're going to take it up a notch in our hip rolls. Inhale in your neutral. Exhale, start with that imprint, the abdominal engagement. Then fire up the glutes by pushing into the feet. Lift the hips. Lift the low back, mid back. Upper back. And you guys can see Katie's really pretty yoga bridge here. This is not where we're headed. Pull your ribs down. Yep. I want the work to be in the bum, not in the spine popping open, because that's really ineffective in Pilates. Pull the ribs down even more. 
right there. So abs and glutes do the work, you're not propping into the bones. Oh my word. Feel that difference? <laughs> Take a breath in, hold at the top here. Exhale, roll the ribs down one at a time. Roll through the waist, then the low back, then the pelvis. Really beautiful control. We're going to do that a couple more rounds. Breathe in at the bottom. Exhale, imprint, fire the belly. Push into the feet, fire the glutes. Backs of the hamstrings or backs of the thighs are firing in. Hold at the top, not so high that the ribs pop open. And then exhale, roll right back down. Nice. One more round, just like that. Deep breath in. On your exhale, imprint. Peel up. Imagine the spine like a pearl necklace, lifting up one bead at a time. At the top, breathe in. Your weight is on the shoulders and the ribs and the heels of the feet. Exhale, set that pearl necklace down one bead at a time. All the way through imprint and out to neutral. Beautiful. Bring your hands behind your head. You're going to try to keep your neutral spine. Elbows angled slightly inward. And take a little bit of a tuck of the chin without lifting the head. So you're just going to get the deep neck stabilizers fired up. Now, breathe in. As you exhale, you're going to fold the head and shoulders up. But keep the space under the low back. Good. Pause for a moment, think more about the ribs coming up and a little less from the neck. So let the head drop back a little bit without losing the ribs. On your exhale, lower right back down. Inhale, check in with that little tuck of the chin, just the little knot, yes. Exhale, think of folding right at the line where your bra is or where you have a heart rate monitor. And yes, hold that little chin tuck. Stay for your breath in, that's for endurance. Exhale to release all the way back down. Just one more like that. On your inhale, check in with the head knot. Exhale, fold at the ribs. It's like you're gliding the rib cage closer to the hip bones. Right there with the head. Stay for your inhale. Exhale, lower back down. We're going to take it up a notch. Inhale, check in with your chin tuck. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders, folding at the ribs. Think of your eye gaze staying right at your knees. Breathe in. With your exhale, I want you to imprint, tipping the hip bones closer to the ribs. Good. Inhale, release just the pelvis to neutral. Exhale, release the ribs, the shoulders, and the head. Nod the chin. Exhale, folding up ribs toward the pelvis, keeping neutral. Inhale, stay. Exhale, imprint hips toward the ribs, so we're shortening the obliques even further. Inhale, release just the hips. Beautiful. Exhale, release the ribs and shoulders. One more round like that. Little knot. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders by folding at the rib cage. Inhale, you've still got space under the low back. Exhale, imprint, reducing that space under the low back. Inhale, release the pelvis to neutral. Yes. Exhale, all the way down. Fabulous. Give the knees a quick hug into the chest. Rock and roll a little, releasing the spine, releasing the back. And then you'll turn over onto your belly. Hands by your shoulders, forearms down on the mat. Yep, and your nose grazes the floor. Good. So I want you to walk your hands a little bit wider. And then set the elbows down. Good. Perfect. All right, legs zip together. And from the get-go here, I want you to fire up the glutes. Imagine you're pulling your tailbone away from your skull. Fire up the abdominals. Imagine you're pulling the belly button off the floor. This whole series should feel no work in the low back. It should all come from the upper back. Inhale, stabilize the shoulders. As you exhale, you're going to imagine you're rolling the marble away from you with your nose. Lift the head. Lift the chest only as high as there's no work here in the low back. Hold for your inhale. Exhale, lengthen back down. Check in with glutes. Check in with the abdominals. Inhale, feel the shoulders gliding down and back. Exhale to lift the head. Lift the shoulders. Your weight is going to land right about the bottom order of the ribs. Exhale to lower back down one more time. 
Inhale, feel the shoulder blades pull back. Exhale, lift the head, lift the heart. Pull for your inhale, keep pulling the belly button away from the floor. Exhale, lengthen back down through the spine. Fabulous, hands come back by your hips. Shoulders round forward, but your hands are gonna face your hips. Perfect. First breath here, first movement, you're gonna keep the nose on the mat. Inhale, pull the shoulder blades back and your arms hover. Yep, your nose is still down though. Yep, so right now try to keep your chest down a little bit more, good. Then as you exhale, lift up to a long, low dart right there. That's as high as you wanna come. Stay for your inhale. As you exhale, lengthen back down, let the shoulders relax forward, arms relax. Nose stays down, just the shoulders and the arms pull back to hover. Then exhale, lift the head and chest ever so slightly. Beautiful, stay right there. So that's even a little too high, Katie. Come down so it's just upper back. Think of opening up this space. There it is. Inhale to stay and exhale to lower back down. One more time. Inhale, pull the shoulder blades back, hover the arms. Exhale, lift to your long, low line. Check in with your glutes, keep pulling tailbone away from the skull, and then lower down all the way. Hands are gonna come under your forehead. So naturally, when we sit and we stand, we have a tendency to have a curve in the lumbar spine. It's supposed to be there, but it means that those lower back muscles are already shorter and tighter. So we want to let them do all the work. However, that means we're just gonna keep tightening an area that already tends to have pain. So this whole series is really about taking the load into the upper back to reduce the load on the low back. All right, squeeze the glutes again, fire up the belly, keep the low back out of the equation. As you inhale this time, you're gonna lift the head and chest, the hands come with you just to there. Yep, it's that long, low dart again. Exhale, come right back down. Inhale, lift up, long, low, dark. Keep the legs heavy. If the legs start to lift, it's a good clue that the low back is doing too much work. Exhale, lower right back down. One more time. Inhale, lift up. And exhale to lower back down. Fabulous. Press yourself up to hands and knees. You're going to take a breath in here. And with your exhale, you're going to Fold the spine into a cat stretch. Yep, big round shape. And then you're gonna send the hips back to the heels. So it's not a child's pose. You're not gonna relax the belly. You're gonna keep pulling up with the navel to actively lengthen all of those back muscles. Fabulous, one more breath here. And then you get to come up, turn around and have a seat. Yep, facing out the windows or whatever you happen to be facing here. So now you're going to be seated toward the front edge of your mat with your knees bent and your feet flat. I want you to find as close to neutral spine as you can here. So try not to be tucked under. If you need to put something underneath you, like a block, a blanket, a folded up towel, that'll help you hold and achieve that neutral a little bit better. I want you to bring your inner thighs to touch. Arms are going to reach forward. Yep, palms face in here. And you're gonna actively curve your spine over the legs. Good, I want you to think about the spine being a letter C shape. Yep, try not to drop your head quite so much. You're kind of making it more like a Q. Lift your head up so that it's really in line with the upper back. Yep, think of pulling your, hand in, your head into my hand here. Yeah, so it's tucked, but it's not dropped. On your exhale, you're gonna roll halfway back by squeezing your glutes, tuck the tailbone without straightening your spine. So find that letter C shape and then roll onto your sacrum, tuck your tailbone. So tuck it the other way. Nope. <laughs> it's okay, this is learning, you guys. My butt bones keep. Right, you shouldn't be on your sit bones anymore. Okay, you should be leaning like this. Feet down. Ah, uh, okay. Here we go. Yes. See? Round your spine. Here. Flex your spine forward. Yep, relax your shoulders. 
So here, I do want you forward over your sit bones. Get there and hold the round shape, don't let it flat. Then as you exhale, roll off your sit bones onto your sacrum and keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. You're taking that letter C about halfway back, good. And then inhale, bring it forward over the legs. You're gonna land on the sit bones without flattening your spine. So hold that C curve. Feel the belly, pull toward the spine, roll back as you exhale, unshrug those shoulders, keep the C curve, take it forward over your sit bones. Yep, stay rounded, roll back. It's like I'm pulling the back of the ribs to get you there, and then stay folded at the ribs as you come forward, good. Exhale, roll it onto your sacrum, squeeze the glutes to help roll off the sit bones. Use those abs, come forward, right over the sit bones. One more round, roll back off the sit bones onto the sacrum. Inhale, take it forward over the sit bones. Good, this time roll about half of that back. So you're just on the sacrum, pause. Keep your letter C shape. Pull one foot up off the mat. Bring the other foot up. Yep, you're gonna take your hands just to the shins here and really tuck the heels in. So don't let your feet go flying. Ooh, I'm gonna fall over. Keep the feet tucked in. Look toward your knees. As you breathe in, you're gonna roll back to land on your shoulder blades. So inhale, roll to the shoulder blades. Exhale, roll forward just to the sacrum. Don't let your feet touch. Nice. Inhale, roll it back. Exhale, roll it forward. So in our rolling like a ball, you're gonna inhale your brakes your abs are your brake system here. So you roll back, put on the brakes so you land on the shoulders, but don't let the head touch the floor. Abs are your brakes to roll forward. Roll it back, pause on the shoulder blades, roll it forward, pause on the sacrum, one more. Roll it back, you guys, and roll it forward, pause in that balance. Keep your feet slightly lifted, roll back just with the uh, low back, let the low back come to the mat, Yep, then let the bottom order of the ribs hit the mat right there. Legs are in tabletop, so you get to lift those feet a little bit. Now, breathe in to prepare. Exhale, reach the right leg long. Inhale as you pass through. Exhale, left leg long. Then switch. Yep, reach and reach. You're breathing in as the legs pass each other. You're breathing out as you fully straighten the leg. Switch and switch. Switch and switch for two and one. Keep the legs going, bring the hands behind the head. You're gonna add a twist toward the bent leg. Twist and twist, reach and reach. Fabulous. Think less about elbow to knee and more about rib to hip. Yes, exhale, exhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale, exhale, inhale, inhale, two. And one, pause, bring the legs to tabletop. Let the head and shoulders come down. Open the knees, find a diamond shape with the legs. And then bring your hands to lightly touch the outsides of the knees. Yep, we're gonna take our slow double leg stretch. Biggest thing here is you get to come down with the head every single rep. This is the break in our ab series. On your exhale, Katie, you're gonna flex up and look through that diamond shape. Good, inhale, reach the arms and legs long on the diagonal, so it's like 100. Yep, that's really low and unsustainable, find it right about there. Now, oh, hold that, come back. Stay in that 100 shape, you're gonna lift the arms up, circle them around, all the way back to the hips, then you get to bend the knees, set the head and shoulders down, yep. Try not to collapse the feet, but stay active in that diamond. On your exhale, nod your chin, flex up, look through the diamond. Inhale, legs long out to 100, arms down by your sides. Yep, a little hover there. As you lift the arms, pull the toes back. As you circle the arms, circle the toes. So you're getting some lateral rotation, good. Then land back in parallel, legs straight, 100 position. Then you get to bend the knees, find your diamond, head down, active in that diamond. Don't collapse. There we go. One more. Inhale. On your exhale, nod your chin, flex up. Inhale, long leg, 100. Good. Arms and toes circle as you inhale. 
all the way back to your hundred. Good. Exhale, set the head and shoulders down, bend the knees. Fabulous. Bring the knees back together. Yep. Tabletop, so you're going to have the feet in line with the knees. Hands right outside the knees. Yep, so your knees are up a little higher here. Hands to your knees. There we go. On your exhale, flex your spine up. Head and shoulders lift. This is our start and end point. Inhale. As you exhale, bend your elbows. Think of reaching your hands by your ears. And then reach arms and legs long. Yep. Then inhale, circle the arms, bend the knees. Exhale, reach it out. Inhale, circle. Bend the elbows on the way up. So imagine that you're wearing a top hat. You're going to take off your top hat and then circle the arms back in. Yes, take off your top hat. Circle around. You've got it, Katie. Take off your top hat. Circle it around. One more. Take off your top hat. Circle it around. Pause. Straighten your legs. Arms are going to stay by your legs. Good. Scissors. You're going to split your legs and then switch. Yep. Now, you can hold the leg coming towards you, but you're not pulling on it. All right? So that's super basic. You've got it. If you know scissors, if you've got a little more to give, you can pulse, pulse, then switch. Pulse, pulse, switch. Breathe out, breathe in. Pulse, pulse, breathe in. Pulse, pulse, and in. Exhale, breathe in. Pulse, pulse, breathe in. You've got it. Three. Pulse, pulse, switch. And two. And switch. One more. Pulse, pulse, and switch by center. Head and shoulders down. Hug the knees in. Rock and roll a little bit. Katie's first ever time doing the M series, and I made her do it straight through. Whew. All right, Katie, go ahead and turn over onto your belly. You're going to take your legs about mat distance apart and turn the toes out. So we're laterally rotating from way up in the hip joint. Hands are a little bit wider so that your forearms can find the mat, elbows down. Yep. Fire up the belly. Fire up the glutes. You need those two muscle groups to support the spine as we move into our swan dive. You're going to take a breath in, stabilize the shoulders, start lifting the head and the chest. As you exhale, lift a little higher. You can push into the arms for leverage. Elbows might even come off the mat. Good. Inhale, hold at the top. Keep pulling the belly toward the spine. Exhale, lengthen all the way down to the floor. Inhale, feel the shoulders stabilize. Exhale, lift the head, lift the heart. Think of lifting the ribs and the belly. Good. Inhale to hold. You should feel work in the low back, but no pinching. Exhale as you lengthen back down. Head comes down last. One more. Inhale. Exhaling, lift the head, then the heart, then the ribs, maybe even the belly. Yep, hold for your breath in. Think a little bit higher with the chin, Katie. Right there. Exhale, take it all the way down to the floor. Let the head come down. Good. Press back to that shell stretch. So it's like our child's pose, but it's more active in the belly. Yep, so do you feel how you're flat in the spine here? Right now, your spine is flat, rounding. Then press the hips back, yes. So a flat spine, you're gonna release the shoulders, you're gonna release the wrists, but you're not gonna get that stretch through all the muscles we were just working, so that's why you want the belly active to really lengthen those back muscles. All right, Katie, come on up to standing. We're gonna finish with our Pilates push-up. So you're gonna stand at the back end of your mat, facing the front end, you've got it. As you breathe in, nod your chin, roll your spine forward. Yep, all the way down until your hands can touch the floor. Good. Exhale, you're going to walk your hands out to a plank. Think right, left, right. Get the left in line. You should be in a nice plank. Knees could always come down here. It's really your choice. Inhale, you're going to bend the elbows one third, two thirds, Three thirds to land in your hover. Exhale, smooth push up. Beautiful. Inhale down. One, two, 
Three exhales, smooth push up. Try to keep some space between the shoulder blades as you bend down, down, down. Smooth push up. Now, pike at the hips. Walk the hands back to the feet. With your exhale, tuck the tailbone, roll all the way up. All right, we're gonna stay standing at the top. We're gonna do a little balance check. Go ahead and bend the knees as you inhale. Now exhale, straighten. Inhale, lift the heels. And exhale, lower the heels. Good. Inhale, nod your chin, roll all the way forward. Exhale, walk it forward to your plank. All right, knees could be up or down. We're gonna reverse the pulses this time. On your inhale, do a smooth lower down. Exhale, pulse up one third, two thirds, three thirds. Inhale, smooth lower down. Pulse up, up, up. One more, smooth lower down. Pulse up, up, up. Walk the hands back to the feet. Tuck the tailbone, roll it up on your exhale. Shoulders down and back. All right, for everyone at home, you can have the option to keep both feet down. However, if you've got a little more to give today, what you're gonna do is reach your right leg back behind you. You're gonna turn the toes out slightly. Option to keep the foot as a little kickstand on the mat or squeeze the glute a little more and hover that leg. Hold the hover or the kickstand. Inhale, nod your chin, roll down. Imagining the spine like a pearl necklace, try to roll through each bead. Keep that leg up, walk the hands forward. Find your plank. Hovering the leg about hip height, smooth bend of the elbows, and smooth push back up. Good, two more, inhale, bend. Exhale, press. One more, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, keep that leg lifted. Walk the hands toward the feet. See if you can lift that leg higher, almost like a standing split. Now, keep the leg as high as you can. As you exhale, tuck the tail, unwind the spine. Nice and slow and steady. If you need to bring the foot down as a kickstand, that's absolutely allowed. Otherwise, try to hold it up there, up there, up there. Roll up all the way to standing. Try to roll instead of hinge at the hip. Roll through the spine, good. Now hold at the top here. We're gonna do that balance check. See if you can lift up so you're not leaning forward, good. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, lift the heel. Exhale, lower. Then set the foot down, beautiful. And because we did side one, we get to do side two. Get to, not have to. <laughs> Sending the left foot back behind you. Hovering or kickstand. Nod your chin, still try to roll the spine as segmentally, piece by piece, vertebra by vertebra as possible. Walk it out, find your plank. Leg is hovering about hip height. Inhale, smooth, lower down. Exhale, smooth, push up. Keep stable scapula. Try not to let them fold into the spine as you lower. Push up, then hike at the hips. Walk the hands back. Lift that leg as high as you can. All right, good. Once the hands are framing the foot, we're gonna tuck the tailbone, roll up. Keep squeezing that left glute to keep the leg as high as you can. Think about rolling piece by piece, vertebra by vertebra. Keep your chin tucked until the very top. Nice, now hold at the top, squeeze that left glute, bend the right knee and straighten. Lift the right heel and lower, set the foot down. <laughs> Finishing with one roll down, no more push-ups. Inhale, nod the chin. Roll it all the way forward. With your exhale, tuck the tailbone, unwinding the spine. Shoulders down and back, head comes up last. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, grasp the right wrist with the left fingertips and reach over to the left. Inhale, lift it up, switch your grasp. Pull over to the right, giving yourself a little traction. Lift it back up. 
arms release down, and you're done. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Have a wonderful rest of your day.